Now, we need to count back in tens from a three digit number. So here, we start with 725. So that's seven hundreds, two tens, and five ones. Now, because we're counting back in tens, we need to take away one of these tens blocks each time. So then, we have 715, then 705. But now, we need to count back in tens, but we don't have any tens blocks to take away. So what we can do is exchange one of our hundreds for ten tens, and then when we take one away, we get 695, because we've now got six hundreds, nine tens, and five ones. So if we're subtracting ten, but our tens digit is a zero, that means that our hundreds digit will need to change as well. But notice, because we're subtracting tens, our ones digit will always stay the same, so our ones digit will always be a five. But if we ignore our ones digit, notice we have 72, 71, 70, 69. So counting back in tens from a three digit number is just like counting back in ones, but then with our ones digit always staying the same. So then we can continue counting back in tens, so taking away one tens block each time until we get to 635. So now we start with 546, so that's five hundreds, four tens, and six ones. We're taking away 10 each time, so we have 536, 526, 516, 506, but now to take away another 10, we need to exchange one of our hundreds for 10 tens, and we can do that because 10 tens has the same value as 100. But now, when we take one of these tens away, we get 496, so four hundreds, nine tens, and we still have six ones. And again, that makes sense if we think the number before 50 is 49, so when we're counting back in tens, the number before 506 is 496, because our ones digit stays the same if we're counting back in tens. So then we can continue taking away a tens block each time until we get to 456. Now we could also show counting using place value counters. So here we start with seven hundreds, two tens, and five ones, so 725. When we count back in tens, what we're doing is taking away a tens counter each time. Now we can do that, but then when we get to 705, we don't have any more tens counters. So what we do is take one of our hundreds counters, and we can exchange that for 10 tens, because 10 tens is the same, has the same value as 100. So then when we take away 10, we get 695, so 6 hundreds, 9 tens, and we still have 5 ones and then we can continue taking away our tens counters until we get to 635. Then we started with 546. You can see that when we take away tens, we get to 506, but then 10 before that is 496. We need to lose one of our hundreds because we need to exchange it for 10 tens, so when we take one of those tens away, we have four hundreds and nine tens. Then we can keep on counting back in tens until we get to four hundred and fifty-six.